Vlog day 131. Getting dressed is kind of difficult uh, when all of your clothes are being used as packing materials. Just the point. Voice got high. Don't know why. Coffee. Ugh. Black. Ooh. So today is setup day for NerdCon. Uh, we're going to be packing everything into the convention center. Mike gets in at around 1, I think, 1 p.m. And then uh, we'll check into our hotel and get our stuff. Really hoping that all the books that I had sent to the hotel actually made it to the hotel. That would be great. So this morning, my brain's not functioning yet. Uh, Jeremiah and I are gonna go down. I'll drop off my stuff at the convention center. We'll go get lunch, see a little bit of Minneapolis, uh, and then it's time to start working. Looking forward to it. So that's actually the ship that I lived on, uh, and the photo's taken in Point Noir, Congo, uh, which is where I met Jeremy. Oh. Never mind. <laughs> I, just called you, I just called him Jeremy. Oh. His name is uh, Jeremiah. Gosh dang it. I suck at life. I didn't even hear me do it. I'm bringing the coffee with me this time. And that photo is actually taken by Ruben, who you met in the Netherlands. So it's all coming together. All very full circle. Now we're going to go find brunch. And hopefully I wake up enough to know what my friend's names are, and then that'll be great. <laughs> I, that's it, exactly yeah. the question I, I just asked over there. <laughs> I'm oh, with Jay and Mike do NerdCon. I'm Jay, working with the... Hi, very nice to meet you, Jay. Nice to meet you, too. Hi. Hi. Good to see you. Hi, Janelle. Good to see you. Changed shirts so that I'm slightly warmer. I didn't want to put this on before I moved those bags because, for one, sweaty. For two, you know, it's protecting art. Anyways, Jeremiah and I are going to get lunch, and then I'll come back here and meet Mike. We'll set up, and then I have no idea what the rest of the afternoon entails. A cakery? I've never been to a cakery before. Cakery! Pull extra hard. <laughs> Copper hen, tasty. Now we're headed back to the convention center. Jeremiah's gotta leave me, go to work like a real, a real adult, and I've got to set up and hawk books. I'm gonna wait until Mike's here because he obviously needs to set up his half of the table. And then I've gotta figure out what to do with all. Oh, I wonder if we could build an extra table. <laughs> that might have been too much coffee. I'm gonna move my bags over to the hotel, pick up the books over there, come back. Um, yeah, that was too much coffee. <laughs> Here. What's up, buddy? Hello. How's it going? Good, good one, to see you. One handing me a uh, double bag. Holy crap! <laughs> <laughs> the books got here just before you got I saw him unloading those. <laughs> How you doing, man? Holy crap. Please come buy books. Whoever, please come buy books. This looks really good. Okay, thank you. This is a crap ton of books. 
I mean, it's not that many books, numbers-wise, because they're thick. But volume-wise, holy crap. This is way easier than carrying a bunch of boxes. What was your name? Scott. Scott? Jay. Yeah, nice to meet you, man. Appreciate it. There is no finer way to get around a convention than on your own handcart. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I feel kind of like a captain at the bow of the ship, well, surveying. Ruminate on the power of storytelling. The power of storytelling. Well, you see, the narrative that I'm crafting today has the power to make you wish that you were here at NerdCon with me. I have those uh, special headshots that I definitely want to hand over. Um, if you come by our booth, if I'm not there, Michael will hook you up too. Why don't you come up and say Bantish sent me? That'd be awesome. If you guys came up and said Bantish sent me, we'll know for sure that A, you're an awesome human being, and B, you want a photo. That's good. I like that. This is us right here. Sweet. Dude, thank you so much. The Cards Against Humanity guys hooked us up with their extra table. So thank you, Cards Against Humanity. You're not just a bunch of horrible people. You're actually really nice. And it's exciting, because now we have like the whole corner covered. I'll show you, it's really nice. Anyways, we're all set up here. The booth looks awesome, and I don't even know if you guys can, yeah, you gotta squeeze in, because this is a really narrow. Hi. Hi. So I think we're ready for tomorrow. You know in social situations, you kinda wanna show up late and leave early? That's the opposite for working a con, at least in my estimation. Maybe Mike disagrees with me on this, but my methodology for it would be to show up early and leave late. Like, show up early, work your ass off, and then be the last one out the door, because you never know when you're. We already sold stuff today, and we haven't even officially opened. You don't want to wear out your welcome. So, like, also true. If people are packing up, and you're not able to help. Just go. Yeah. All right, we're heading out to meet Pat right now. I'm staying with Mike in this hotel, which is fairly nice, and uh, I'm going through this thing. Ah! <laughs> I'm going straight slower. We are going to pull the plug on the Boomerang Kickstarter. This didn't go as well as we were hoping. We're gonna regroup and we'll figure it out. So keep you guys updated with that. Anyways, now we're gonna to go to Brit's Pub. 